All right, we are in Hiawassee today. Yesterday we came down from Uni into Unicoi Gap. Gentle Ben was there again. Um, he had cheeseburgers and offered to give us a ride into town, which was really awesome. Um, got a room here in town and uh, planned to do laundry yesterday, but the machine here at the room was broken. Uh, the laundromat closed at four and is closed again today. So I ended up doing my laundry in a Ziploc bag in the bathroom. Uh, no big deal, but it's taken a little while longer to dry. Um, food resupply, uh, definitely needed. I uh, pulled all the food out of my food bag and looked. I was going to try to stretch out like three more days out of the little bit that I had left. And this is, this is what I have left here. So that would have been a little bit skimpy, uh, where I was already running low on energy. Uh, definitely need a food resupply. Uh, we decided to go ahead and take a zero today. We weren't very efficient last night at getting things done. Um, just exhausted coming off, a tra off the trail. Uh, both of us uh, really pushed the last couple days. Um, the rocks on the trail were just really rigorous to try to concentrate and and foot placement and everything like that it just it drains you throughout the day your mind gets drained from thinking about each each and every single step so you don't twist an ankle or tweak a knee um so it's just it's a little tougher out there than than you imagine uh it's a ton of fun i love it out there i uh, can't wait to get back out there uh but also this is uh they say a marathon, not a sprint. Um, and with both of us just feeling the aches and pains, we're going to give it another day, do our stretches, uh, get get ready to, to hit a big run up to Franklin, um, which should be, it's 50-some it's miles up there from Unicoi Gap, and uh, hopefully we'll make it in about six days or less. Uh, but so far, like... You hit some smooth sections of trail. You hit some really rough sections of trail. Yesterday was really rough coming down. Um, just really taxed uh, taxed us. Uh, still, still feel like we're in pretty good health, doing really well. Uh, you know the town vortex thing is real. It's nice to sleep on a bed. It's nice to get sleep. I'm only sleeping like maybe three to four hours at night when I'm out in the woods. Uh, everything's so humid here. I'm not used to the humidity. I'm not used to sleeping on a little narrow pad uh, that my head hits one end of the tent and my feet are on the other end. It's just every everything combined, you, know, you just don't get any sleep and it just you just get exhausted after a while. So we're gonna, um, this is one of the things that I was looking forward to on this trip was taking a couple zeros. I didn't think it'd be this early. But I think we're getting acclimated faster than I was planning on as well. So I feel like we're going to be putting in bigger and bigger and bigger miles as we go on. But here at the beginning, we have access to the to the towns, and um, it's kind of a like a the vacation honeymoon phase of the trip. So we're we're going to take advantage of it tonight, and then we're going to hit the trail running tomorrow. So. Uh, might not video a whole lot today. I'll take a few pictures of town and of our resupply. But uh, just plan on getting a lot of rest today. Really trying to recuperate as much as I can so we can hit the trail running and do a big push tomorrow. Talk to you later.